This week, we highlight another life well lived. During this Black History Month, we celebrate the generations of African Americans who helped fight for equality in the United States. Among those giants, a woman named Rosalind Pope. Back in 1960, Pope was a 21-year-old senior at Spelman College in Atlanta. She had just come back from a year abroad in Paris, where she experienced life without segregation for the first time. No boundaries, she said. No places I couldn't go. The day after she returned, Pope learned about a sit-in at a Woolworths lunch counter in Greensboro, North Carolina, that was gaining national attention, and she had an idea. With help from future NAACP leader Julian Bond, she wrote a manifesto. It was called An Appeal for Human Rights. So momentous was the document, the New York Times ran it on a full page. And it was read into the congressional record, becoming the guiding principle for anyone working for racial justice. From a young age, it was clear Rosalind Pope was a leader. In the early 50s, she was picked to represent Georgia at a National Girl Scout event where she was the only black scout. She was elected class president in high school and student body president at Spelman. After the manifesto was published, Pope moved out of the spotlight, focusing on two other important jobs, teaching and raising two daughters. Later in life, she earned a master's in English and a doctorate in humanities. Rosalind Pope, who helped pave the way for generations of civil rights leaders, died last month in Arlington, Texas. She was 84 years old. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.